Mike with Mountain Mike's Reproductions. Today I'm going to show you our brand new product. It's the Ultra Positioner. It's a European skull mount. Works for deer, antelope, bear, boar, just about anything you can come up with. It works. It's actually the most adjustable European mount on the market. Um, we're going to go ahead and mount that up, show you how to do it with real skulls and reproduction skulls. Um, I'm also going to go over our original deer positioner. A lot of people have asked me, how do you mount a real skull with this bracket. It works great with your reproduction skulls, Mike, but how do I do it with a real skull? So I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. The package, I like to adjust it, get it so the, the notch, so it can go full vertical, is right on the top. Get that there, tighten that back Allen wrench down as tight as you can, okay? That's good. Now we just need to locate the stud. I've got one located here where I want to put my skull. So we'll go ahead and just we'll go ahead and screw this to the wall. Let's get it in there. Okay, the brackets mounted. We made sure we got it adjusted so this is vertical. Our kit comes with our little set screw Allen wrench. Get that out. We're gonna go ahead and use bring our skull. This is a mountain mic skull. You just slide it on through the, the back of the keyhole on a mountain mic skull, right here, the big keyhole. Slide that on there. Okay, adjust it to where you like the looks of it. And let's say I want to tilt it a little bit that way so it hangs into the middle of the room. Take that off. Slide this screw down, a little set screw on the bottom. Put it on this time, see how it looks. Well, that looks pretty good to me. Now if I want to swing it, I can do it while it's up here. Support it, because you know it's going to be coming off. And there you have it. Socket and the set screw, you can adjust it any direction you want. You can Swing it back and forth, you can rotate it, you can tilt it. It's just a really, really adjustable mount. So now let's do a real skull. The real deer skull. Same thing. This time it's got you using the spinal cord canal like you use on any skull you get. The angle can be a little bit different. So we'll need to just loosen this up. Bring that down. It's just, it's just snug. Let's get that in there. See what we've, what we've got here. And we want to tilt this one pretty much the same way we had the other one. Maybe even a little more of a tilt. Slide it back off. Tighten it down. Okay. Now it's all tightened down. Let's put the skull back on it. And it's rotating looking into the room. So if you came in the room that way, it would look pretty darn good at you now. There. That's about the angle I'd like to have for this for this room. And you can see it was pretty darn easy to do. It works like I said with this about any skull you can come up with. Let me show you one more trick. One more thing I like to do when I have a nice big set of antlers, I want to make sure that I do this with all my positioners. It's just something I got in the habit of doing. Um, I, I hate to over tighten things. Uh, sometimes you can strip out a bolt or something. I hate to do that. So I just got in the habit of locking down my positioners, whether it's an elk's positioner, a deer positioner, the ultra positioner. I'll just go ahead and put a drop of super glue. Once I get it exactly where I want, put a little drop right in the recess on top, right between the ball and socket. Let that sit for about 30 seconds, and that's not going to go anywhere. I don't have to worry about uh, somebody slamming a door or the temperature changing and starting to lose a little bit of grip on it. Instead of retighten it all the time, instead of having to come back and retighten or check it, it's locked in now. I don't have to worry about that. It's like Loctite on a, on a Harley. Maybe it's got a Harley Loctite's every bolt on it. When you get temperature changes, it's just kind of nice to have that added sense of security. One drop of super glue and it's locked in. So let's go ahead and do the uh, regular gear position now. Take this down. A 
Okay. Here is a, a regular deer positioner. And on a real skull, this is where people have questions. You slide this, you slide this tang in until that prong that sticks out. That normally that goes in the keyhole hanger on our skulls. But how you align it on a real skull is you put the tang between the teeth, you slide it up until that goes right into the back of the cavity. Obviously it's not held on there yet, but that lines this hole up with the strongest part of the skull. Let me show if you can see that. That line's where you're going to actually drill the hole right here with the thickest part of the skull. So let's go ahead and get an eighth inch drill bit. We'll pre-drill through, through the bracket into the skull. Okay, so I got that in there. I'm going to go ahead and drill right through the back of it here. Go ahead and install your screw. Just snug it down. So I need to torque it down. Just snug it down nice and tight. Now it's locked in position and you're, you're ready to go. You can go ahead now you can go ahead and mount this bracket. We got the bracket on there. Um, just to make it easy, go ahead and take the bracket, take the back bracket off, the mounting bracket, take that off. We'll mount that to the wall and then put these bolts back in. That way it just makes it easy to, you're not holding your, the skull up in the air. Okay, use your mounting screw. And go ahead and put this on the wall. So you make sure you get a stud. It's got to be nice and firm. You want to tighten this to the wall nice and hard. You want to make sure you're into a stud and it's not going to go anywhere. Don't use drywall hangers on these brackets. Okay, it's too much torque with this much weight out here for drywall. You can break your drywall. So make sure you get a stud. Okay, now I've got this on. Now I'll put these screws back in the side. I got those things in, got those back in there. Get your wrench. It's a number 10. It's a metric, isn't it? Go ahead and snug those down. Okay. Now this, because this is this bracket here, you can rotate it, you know, because it's got one screw in the wall, you can rotate it to make sure it's vertical. Now I can adjust it any angle up or down. So because this is fairly low on the wall, I'll want it tilted back it's pretty far. So it looks more realistic. So I got that there. Okay, that's snug down. The original deer positioner and the new ultra positioner. Mountain Mike's got you covered. You got an, uh, a European mount you want to you want to mount up on the wall and get the right attitude so it's looking into the room, looking at you. You got the same appearance you'd have, the same presentation you would have if you saw this animal in the wild. Um, we got you covered. These products will do it. They'll do it economically. They'll do it simply. For about this and other great new products from Mountain Mike's, go to our website, masterofskulls.com, and I'll talk to you soon.